Okay, let's do 1.2. So 1.2 says the newly elected SGB, so that's a school governing board from the previous question, plan to have a lunch with the staff. Table one below shows the average comparative food prices for May 2022 and May 2023. So basically a year apart needed for some of the lunch items. Okay, so let's just look at what's in the table. So we have these various items from beans the whole way to chicken. Then you have the May price in rands in 2022 and the May price in 2023, right? Then you have this percentage change, which is effectively just sort of talking about inflation, right? So saying year on year, so how much did it go up from there to there as a percentage, right? Quite important, there's no percentage, there's not a random amount from year to year and then month to month, okay? So here's basically saying that compared to that and then it's splitting the year to year from a month to month basis, okay? Now, we're probably gonna have to fill in a couple of things here. You can really see that there's an A missing. So we know there's a couple of things they're probably gonna ask us to do, but we're not phased about that. We're just gonna go about this periodically. So let's look at the first question. So 1.2.1. Identify the food items that showed a decrease in both the month-to-month -month and year-to-year -year percentages. Okay, so let's look here. So there it goes up, it goes up. There it goes up, it goes down, right? That negative shows that's a down. Those are both positive. Here's both negatives. There's both negatives, because that's what it said, right? Showed a decrease in both the month-to-month -month and the year-to-year. -year. So basically, both of these have to be negative. The rest of these are positive, so it's just these two. What is it? The sunflower oil and the oranges. You don't have to say the per kg water water. You just have to say, because it said which food items. So you can just say sunflower oil and oranges. Okay. So just be careful that you don't just write down one, because that's also a common mistake that students make. So say sunflower oil and then say and oranges. Oh, I spelled oranges wrong. That's not good. Okay, and that's that question done. We're doing well. Then, 1.2.2 says determine the missing value. The missing value A is over here. It tells us it's a total value. This value over here is the sum of those, right? Because that's what the total value is. So over here for A, what we're going to do is we're just going to sum all of those together. Okay, so we're going to take out our trusted calculator. And we literally, oh, I'm really typing things in wrong. The biggest thing here that I always say to my students is making sure that you type in questions correctly. When I say questions, I mean numbers. Okay, 22,07. I'm just working down this column. Do you see I've done that, 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 that? Just got two more numbers, 37,73 plus 86,80. And there's my answer. Now you could be saying, that's not a random amount. Remember this lovely little key here on your calculator? Press that. And that tells you your total amount. So please put that in. You can't just write the answer. Please do write what you're actually summing up. So write all the 2,60 plus all the way to 86,80. Because you have to show some working out, right? So please do do that. And then you write your answer with a rand value. Because it's not just um, 298 nothings. It's 298 rand and 41 cents. So there's your answer. Always remember your rand. And remember also with monetary amounts, you always have to round off to two decimal places. In this case, it's already that. So we find, but just something to note. Let's look at this question. Calculate the price of a dozen eggs during May 2022. Okay, so let's look over here. Here's eggs. There's eggs. Okay. Now it says your eggs, one and a half dozen, right? So that is obviously more than a dozen. So we're going to have to do some division. We know that. But it said May 2022. So that's our May 2022 price. So let's just write that down first. Okay. So I'm going to say one and a half dozen equaled 52 rand. And where am I getting this from? Again, over here. 52 rand and 97 cents. Okay. So we have that. So one and a half dozen, right? And if you're not comfortable with that, you can put it like this. One and a half times how many is in a dozen? 12. So one and a half dozen means that 18 eggs, 18 eggs in May 2022 equaled this amount. Okay. Okay. So now we want to know how many, how many, how much 12 eggs cost. Well, let's actually say, well, how much does one egg cost? Okay, that's one. 
So if 18x equaled that, we divide that side by 18, and we divide that side by 18. So we're just going to say 52,97 divided by 18. That's how much, and I'm not going to round it off. Okay, remember it said only round off your final answer. That's how much one egg costs. Okay, so that's one egg. But now we want to know what 12 eggs cost, right? So we times here by 12, and what we do to the one side, we have to do to the other side. So times it by 12, take what's in there, times it by 12. Remember this beautiful little key. And it is 35, 4.31. Now remember, you have to round it off to two decimal places, even though there's way more decimal places here, because when it comes to money, you don't get more than two decimal places with cents. So you have to round it off, and there is your final answer. Okay? There's other ways of doing this. You can go look in the memo. This, for me, flows quite nicely. It's quite intuitive. So I hope that made sense to you. Let's go to the next question here. And the last one for this video. Write down the unit ratio. So unit ratio means in the form one to something, right? So this leading number has to be one. For the price of oranges in May 2022 to the price of the oranges in May 2023. Okay, let's look where we're looking. Here's oranges. So those are the two numbers we're looking at. So in May, so it's basically saying, please do the, the price of oranges in May 2022 to the price of oranges in May 2023. So in May 2022, it was 22.07 over there. And in May 2023, it was 20.10 or 10, okay? But now it said, please write it in the form like this. That's what the question asked, right? So what do we have to do the 22.07 to get it to one? Now, it's, remember when it comes to ratios, we don't just subtract. We either times or we divide. So here, we've divided it by itself to get one. Because remember, anything divided by itself equals one, except for zero. So what we do to the one side, we're going to do to the other side, right? So we did that to that side, that was simple enough. We put in this, then we divide it by, and there it is there. Round it off to two decimal places. And so if you round it off to two decimal places, I would firstly sort of write it out as full. It's not our final answer. You can just write it out as full, and then you can say, this is equivalent, remember that just means equivalent, one to 0 0.91, and there's your answer. Okay, so do you see how this question, there was a lot of ratios, a bit of interpretation, but the main thing was actually just reading the question so that you knew what was being asked. Okay, let's move on to the next question.